everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Python's World 2. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're back for the fourth episode and once again, last episode I asked for 8,000 likes and guess what you guys once again came through. We have 8,000 likes at the time of me recording this video, which is fantastic. So I tell you what, let's keep it up with that goal. Let's see just how far into the series we can go and continue to get 8,000 likes per episode. Huh? That'd be kind of awesome. So in today's episode, we got a bit of an odd jobs episode, actually. First of all, what I'd like to do is extend the bedroom out a little bit. I'd like to extend this room out a little bit, maybe have the room be on stilts out here a little bit. And the intention, very, very simply, is to be able to sleep inside our house because obviously we weren't able to in the last episode because of these loud butt heads. Look at these guys, they're all over the place, huh? But guys, check it out. We have 30 levels as well. So I think another thing we could do in today's episode is go exploring. Maybe try and get ourselves a whole bunch of leather. Get ourselves a bunch of sugar cane. Get ourselves an enchant set up. You guys know how we roll at this point. We want to get some enchants going. And also, mining. Yes, I've got no iron left at all. I used the last bit of iron on this shovel here. I don't even have an iron sword anymore, guys. I'm poor. I may have a diamond pickaxe, but that does not mean... But I am rich by any means, guys. Yeah. We uh, we need to... Oh. Okay, well, now I no longer have a sword. In fact, at all. Uh, yeah. I need to do something about that, don't I? So, the first thing we're going to do is the bedroom extension. Because, I mean, being able to sleep at night and not having to, like, keep picking up your bed and relocating it all over the place. Being able to do that is, is very, very good, in my opinion. So, that's what we're going to start off by doing. I mean, that was a pretty simple job, to be honest with you. Just a couple blocks extension onto the house and we're just about there. Now, we have, like, a big big, long, narrow bedroom, and we could probably put some more stuff inside it, right? And then I really like the underside here. I think this looks really, really cool. You know, we've still got the nice decorative stuffs going on, but now it's almost as if there's a, there's a bit of a, a little bit of a freaking shelter, you know? Just get yourself out of the rain. There we go. A nice, simple bedroom with a couple of utility bits and bobs, and yeah, now when it comes to nighttime, we should actually be able to sleep. Oh, and speak of the devil, the sun has literally just started to go down, so yeah, I can now sleep in my house despite there being zombies in my house. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's not weird at all, is it? All right, well, now we've got to spend three years killing all of these guys, and then we're going to go, I think, for a bit of an explore. I don't know, explore first or mine first? That's the question. We need to do both, don't we? Maybe we do mining first. You know what? I'm actually pretty excited to start decorating our cave system here. Now, obviously, you know, we've got the spawner behind there, and that's definitely something we're going to have to contend with. Uh, I don't know that I want to have all of the cobblestone be exposed, so I may just sort of make this cave go sort of slightly more to the right here, and then we just bypass that entirely. Like, we cover it up with regular stone, make it look like it's always been like that. You know? And then, of course, we've got a staircase that goes all the way down. So, yeah. Anyways, more than anything, we're actually looking for iron. Anything else would be a bonus, honestly. You know what? I just sincerely hope that we don't wind up dying. Because having to grind ourselves back up to 30 levels from zero is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. I mean, yeah, we do have that zombie spawner XP farm going on. But it's definitely among the slower ways of garnering XP, right? So... We still gotta be careful, okay? We can't go freaking Rambo style into things just yet, my friends. We still gotta be just a little bit careful at the very li- Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, wait, wait, wait. So last episode, we broke out into this cave system and there were diamonds right there. And should I have gone ahead and actually obsidianized more of this area, I would have found even more diamonds. What the heck? Wow. All right. Well, apparently, we're being very, very lucky when it comes to diamonds on this series so far. Don't mind if I do. I'm never going to complain about that. No, 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 no. All right. We got uh, two. Oh, hang on. Three, four. Nice, nice. Any advances on four? No, I think that's all we're going to get. Okay. Well, that's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a fifth one. Hey, nice. Five is what I would consider to be a magic number of diamonds. Because at the very start, you use it to get yourself a pickaxe, which is three. And then you get some obsidian. And then you use the remaining diamonds for an enchant table, right? Yeah, pretty simple. Well, I tell you what. It looks like we do have ourselves a whopping great proper cave system here. There seems to be a lot of stuff going on here, which is pretty nice. We've got... Pla oh, there's a mine shaft up there. 
Hey, hey! Ah! Okay, yep, that's cool. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you do that. And you, my good sir. Yeah, get in the... Yeah, that's what you deserve, sucker! All right, yeah, we've got ourselves a mineshaft up there. That's pretty cool, right? I didn't even know that was there. We've had a freaking mineshaft below us the entire time we've had our base. <laughs> what? Oh, such craziness. Oh, what the... No! Dude, yo, <laughs> what? Are you serious? Another dungeon. We're on episode four. And this is what? The, the third dungeon we found in this world, in this series? Wow. That is rather amazing. <laughs> I can't even deny that. That's kind of amazing, dude. Wow, okay. I don't feel like this is even that far away from our base. 301117. I'm going to go and take a screenie of that. And then I might compare it with the coordinates back at base. And then we might be able to determine from there whether or not it might be worth trying to make a skeleton farm. You know, down here. Might be worth it. I don't know. Ah, beautiful. Can't do enchanting without lapis. Give me some of that. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, I was just going to say, please don't let it be just two walls. That would have been a bit crummy, huh? Well, we're still going, guys. Getting absolutely loads and loads of resources, which I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty good about. I mean, come on, look at the amount of freaking ores around here, bro. Redstone, copper, iron, coal. Oh, there's so much stuff going on. Right, I have a very... My diamond sensors are tingling around here, okay? I don't know if you guys get that every now and again, but every now and again, if you've played the game long enough you will get a diamond sense, all right? You'll get you'll get a diamond sense tingle sensation if you feel like you're near diamonds. And I feel like this is one of those times, you know? It could be. It could be the case. I don't know. Oh. Wow, look at the freaking size of this ravine, though, bro. This is, this is pretty impressive. There's a lot of resources in here as well. Dang, bro. Oh! No, you don't, Brother Creeper. That is a hard pass on that one. You're not going to freaking scare me like that. No, 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 no. No, I am not dying. Okay? That is a hard pass. Oh, my God! Oh. Oh. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that, Ma. Oh. Don't do that, Minecraft. Come on, dude. Are you serious right now? You're really going to do that to me, Minecraft, huh? You're really going to do that to me. You're going to drop cave spiders on my freaking head and scare the absolute living bejesus out of me. Oh, you know what, guys? I am dicing with death just a little bit too much, in my opinion. I think it might be time to, you know... Get the hell out of there, you know, with my life intact, with my XP and drops intact. Look at all this stuff, man. We got a lot of stuff, man. We got a lot, a lot of stuff. Oh, all right, well, I'm feeling pretty good about it. All right, well, there goes our last berry. And, yeah, that's just about all of our food aside from that gold apple, which I, I, I'd rather not eat right now. I'd rather save it for a villager zombie, if you catch my drift. Hey, guys, check it out. We've actually got all of the name tags required to start naming our duos, our dogs, and our parrots. All right. Freaking sweet, dudes. All right, so let's just do a little bit of this action. Uh, let's do a little bit of that. We'll do three, four, five, six. We'll do that lot. And then seven would we'll do that lot. Okay, so put those all in. And then we have some copper as well. Very, very nice. And then we've still got gold to smelt as well. So let's go ahead and start stacking everything up. And oh boy, look at all this stuff, man. We've got loads of stuff going on. We've got six diamonds. Hey, very, very nice. Alrighty, guys. So real quick, what we're going to do before we go cow hunting is we're going to make ourselves a smoker. And we are going to bring for ourselves some fuel as well. So then we can just start smelting up some meat as we go along. Uh, so yeah, that should be pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, we do have nine hearts. It seems to be a pretty good amount, does it not? And uh, where is the sun right now? Oh, it's midday. Okay, right. Yes, we need to go cow hunting. I need, I think it's 46 bits of leather. So, yeah. 
Hopefully this doesn't take too long. So in terms of the abandoned mineshaft, don't worry. I haven't forgotten about it. I just didn't want to explore it in today's episode because I wanted to also get some other objectives done. So I'll tell you what, I'll cut you a deal, okay? We'll go ahead and do the abandoned mineshaft in the next episode, huh? How does that sound? Episode 5, abandoned mineshaft episode. I think that'd be a cool idea. Get ourselves a whole bunch of looty doodles and all that kind of beautiful stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is something else we're going to need a fair amount of. In fact, to tell you the truth, it might even be a good idea to maybe take a boat, you know? Take ourselves a little boat. Maybe we could find ourselves a whole bunch of sugar cane just neighboring the ocean or rivers or whatever. And who knows? We may find some cows along with it. Ah, uh, the urge to loot is too strong. I must. I must loot it, guys. I'm sorry. I must do it. Oh, look at that. We got a book out of it as well. Hey, that's actually not that bad, is it? All right. Well, I think the treasure room might even be underneath real quick. So, if I am very quick, I might be able to do this thing. So, it's going to be like under here, isn't it? Yeah, what a beautiful sight. All right, I don't have enough time to check out what's in there. So, I'm just going to break it straight away. And who knows? We might have some stuff to come out of this. I can see an emerald block being unlocked here. Oh, look at that. We've got a diamond out of it as well. Hey, who said these things aren't worth it, huh? Ah, oh, you guys are crazy if you think that. All right, and of course, we do have ourselves a buried treasure map as well. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Python the Loot Goblin. I can't help it. Wow, this is like really nearby. That's probably the closest I've ever had a buried treasure chest spawn next to me, you know? Wow. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, as long as these things don't take a long time, I'm, I'm definitely down with trying to see what we get going on here. Huh? All right. Well, as you guys may or may not know, I am a loot master. Okay. So let's face north. We need to pinpoint ourselves exactly on the X. All right. And then try to find the middle, maybe here. Okay. So this block I'm under right now is where I'm guessing the chest is going to be. Oh, I was nearly there. Right here. Okay, right. Well, once again, I don't really have enough time to check out what's in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of that. And hey, look at that. There's a whole bunch of stuff. We've got some food. We've got some leather, leather freaking chest plate stuffs. Uh, yeah, I mean, 21 emeralds as well. Wow. Decent. I can't even complain about it. Ah, my first victor. I mean, my first sacrifice to the greater cause. There we go. Look at that. Two out of 46 leather. Oh, I can see some lights. Okay. We may or may not have a village over here. A village that neighbors directly onto a mega tiger biome. Very interesting. Hey, little baby, what the devil are you doing out at night, you bleeding idiot? Go find yourself a home to go to, dude. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with you? Uh, I mean, they've got plenty of potato. Oh my god, there's a baby wolf! <laughs> He's so adorable. Ah! Oh, that's just rude, that is. Wait, wolves are hostile towards foxes? What? Okay, that's interesting to know. Hey, potatoes. Good. We actually needed those. Nice. All right. What else do we have? Any more potatoes? Yeah. Give me those potatoes, man. What the heck kind of village is this? There's like absolutely zero houses. It's literally just like farms and babies. Like what? What? I, I'm so confused. There's like absolutely no houses at all. So not only can I not get to sleep, but the little baby villagers, they also can't get to sleep. What the devil, Minecraft? Why would you generate something like this? Those poor babies. <laughs> hey, you leave them alone. Leave them. Get out of here, you son of a gun. All right, well, yeah, I don't have the ability to sleep and I kind of feel bad for it. Oh, goodness me. Oh, all right, well, maybe if I just go far enough away to the point where the village is no longer loaded, maybe, just maybe, they'll be all right. Whoa! Now that's a hell of a death hole cave entrance, huh? Look at this, man! Imagine falling down there in a UHC playthrough. Oh god, I'd be having a heart attack right about now. Hey guys, check it out. We got ourselves a swamp. For those of you guys unaware, swamps are typically considered one of the best biomes to get sugarcane in because, you know, there's so many bits of blocks that sort of neighbor water. Like, the chances of you finding a good amount of sugarcane here is pretty great. Look at all that. Do you see? You know? Point proven. 
Lots of sugar cane. Oh, nice. All right, so I could see... Uh, oh, wait, is that two cows down there? I can see two cows down there. But also, I can see a village, a flower forest, and another swamp. Man, what a nice combination of stuff to find. Hey, all right, well, we should be able to make some pretty significant progress towards our enchant table setup goal now. Uh, let's go take these cows out of the game first, and then we shall maybe go for the village next. Who knows? There might be a library hut in there. That'd be kind of nice. How you doing? Go on. Leather? Ah, oh, screw you. All right, leather? Leather? Yeah, leather? Oh, thank goodness. All right, well, we've got six out of 45. Oh, this is taking so long. Oh. And then behind the village, there's a freaking mesa. Oh, my gosh. Wow, we are really coming across all the stuffs today, aren't we? <laughs> Oh, wow, this turned out to be a full-on, full-blown exploration episode, huh? All right, so where are we? 700, well, nearly 800 on the x-axis, negative, and then 300. Cool. All right, guys, we have got a lot of stuff that we could probably explore in more detail in future episodes. You know, get a whole bunch of gold from the beautiful Mesa biomes. We've got all sorts of other stuff. Oh, my God, there's donkeys over here as well. Oh, my God, this place just keeps on giving. Oh, how fantastic. <laughs> You'll love to see it. All right, what have we got? 13 out of 45. Oh, boy. Still got a while to go. I don't want to kill the donkeys. Donkeys are nice. They're useful. They can hold your stuff for you, dude. Ah, <sighs> All right. Well, here's hoping there's a library hut in here. Ah, oh, hey there, Mason, dude. Look at this. Selling a whole bunch of bricks. Very, very nice. But the thing I'm really after is your stone cutter, because I just like it. So, I'm sorry, buddy, but you have been fired. Uh, so, yep, yeah, that's a thing. Please don't come back and kill me at some point because I fired you. What in the... What? Okay, that legit generated like that. I can't make that up. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Well, on... Oh, wow. Unfortunately, there's no sign of any library huts around here. So, we'll have to call this village a bust. I mean, I've still got a couple good things here. We've got a stone cutter, grindstone, brewing stand, hay bales... All very nice stuffs that are probably going to help us at some point or another. Uh, so, for now, we need to get back to our cow quest. And then, once we've done that, we'll probably end off the episode, I guess. Alright, guys. So, a quick pit stop to go ahead and smelt ourselves some steak. And then, we're going to have ourselves a little bit of a snooze as well. And then, we'll have our toes kept warm by the smoker here. <laughs> ah, I like it. Alright, there we go. Yeah, a little bit of smoky awesomeness yeah look at that we've got plenty of steak on the go now my friends our food situation is sorted for now anyway until we run out of again okay we've got some interesting stuffs going on around here we've got ourselves a witch hut out in the middle of the swamp waters and also for whatever reason or another we seem to have ourselves some abandoned uh water ruins on the surface uh yeah yeah that's that's a thing how you doing <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, never mind. All right, guys. We're getting close to having two stacks of sugar cane. We would probably be good with maybe three stacks. I mean, that I know is going to be enough to get the amount of books that we need. I mean, let's be honest. The bottleneck really is cows. I seem to have a surprising lack of cows on this world. And no, it's not just because I've just been going through and killing them all. There just doesn't seem to be that many. And it's kind of annoying, actually. My goodness, this has taken a long time. 43 out of 45. If you guys don't get me up to 45, I'm going to be so sad. Come on, you two. Boom. You better give me leather. There we go. Hey, we're even going to wind up with a small surplus by the looks of it. All right. Boom. Boom. Yeah. 48 leather. Guys, we're done. We're finally blooming done. Ah, we can go home at long last. We've got plenty of sugar cane as well. We should have ourselves enough to get us... Oh, mama. Wait, aren't those guys, like, super rare? The fabled pink sheep, guys. Wow. Hey, Budski. I should say I didn't die, this guy. Yeah, these guys are rare, aren't they? They're still pretty rare. Like, way back in the day, you, you found yourself a pink sheep. You're like the freaking king of the world, right? I don't know if it's still a case of that, but it's still a pretty cool find, isn't it? A pink sheep. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. The time has finally come. Let's do this thing. Uh, let's get ourselves all of the books. 
There we go. And then we can make ourselves the enchant table. And we have enough diamonds left behind to make ourselves both a, a diamond sword and another diamond pickaxe. Because why not? Okay, so now, uh, can we... Yeah, look at that. We've even got one bookshelf in addition to what we actually need. Hey, fantastic. All right, guys. So next episode, we can focus on doing some enchanting stuffs, huh? Hey, feels good, man. Feels good. All right, guys. Well, as always, before heading off for today's episode, we do have the comment of the day. Footy Chief says you should absolutely consider making a jungle treehouse village as a base. That would be epic. I mean, it just makes sense, doesn't it? I've always wanted to actually start and actually finish a jungle treehouse village. I always wind up, I don't know, I just wind up losing interest after a while. But honestly... It's not that difficult to do, is it? You just make a little bit of a winding staircase going up the tree, going up to a platform, and then you do that on several other trees, and then you connect them with some little bridges here and there, you know? It's not that difficult to do, to be honest with you. And yeah, it's a nice idea, isn't it? It really, really is a nice idea. You know, we got our episode one base here. We could have ourselves a bit of a jungle treehouse village going on here. Like, I intend on there being built all over the shop here, guys. Don't you worry about it. We're still at the very early game. You know, we got a lot of things to do, my friends. We really, really do. But anyways, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. Bit of a long one for me, but it's been more than worth it just getting ourselves geared up, you know. So like I say, next episode, we can focus on enchanting and also exploring that abandoned mineshaft, as I mentioned earlier. So yeah, action-packed episode today, action-packed episode next time as well. So stick around, my friends, and make sure you hit the subscribe button and you ding that bell so you don't miss out on that episode. For now, though, thank you so much for watching do be sure to hit the like rating if you have enjoyed today's episode and that'll just about wrap it up guys a newly extended house looking beautiful if i do say so myself thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate your continued support have a fantastic rest of your day wherever you are and i'll see you guys in the next episode